Hello everyone, welcome to Route to Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting problem. So, the given problem is if a and b are integers of opposite signs such that a plus 3 whole square divided by b square equals to 9 and a minus 1 whole square divided by b minus 1 whole square equals to 4 then the value of a square by b square is. So here we have given two ratios and we are asked to find the value of a square divided by b square. So without any delay let's start the solution. So our first ratio is a plus 3 whole square divided by b square equals to 9. So from this we can write a plus 3 whole square equals to 9b square this implies us a plus 3 equals to root over 9 b square. This implies us a plus 3 equals to plus or minus 3b. So from here we can write a plus 3 equals to 3b. Let's take it as first equation. And another equation is a plus 3 equals to minus 3b is our second equation now let's just deal with the second ratio that is a minus 1 whole square divided by b minus 1 whole square equals to 4 so this implies this by cross multiplication we can write a minus 1 whole square equals to 4 multiplied with b minus 1 whole square similarly taking the square root we have a minus 1 equals to root under 4 multiplied with b minus 1 whole square this implies is a minus 1 equals to plus or minus 2 multiplied with b minus 1 so from here we can write a minus 1 equals to 2b minus 1 let's take it as equation 3 and our second equation must be a minus 1 equals to 2 multiplied with 1 minus b let's take it as equation 4 as we have four equation and two variables that means we have multiple solution for a and b in order to find all the solution for a and b we need to equate this equation 1 with 3 and 4 and equation 2 with again 3 and 4 so in the case 1 i will equate equation 1 with equation 3 so from equation 1 we have a plus 3 equals to 3b is our equation 1 and our equation 3 is a minus 1 equals to 2 multiplied with b minus 1. So this implies is a minus 1 equals to 2b minus 2. This implies is a equals to 2b minus 1. Let's just put the value of a in equation 1. So we have 2b minus 1 plus 3 equals to 3b. This implies is b equals to 2. Now if I put the value of b here, so we will get a equals to 4 minus 1 which is equals to 3. So here one thing you can notice that the value of a is positive as well as b is positive. But in the question it is given that the value of a, b must be of opposite sign. So these two values get discarded. Next in the case 2 we will equate equation 1 with equation 4. So from equation 1 we have a plus 3 equals to 3b is our equation 1 and equation 4 is a minus 1 equals to 2 multiplied with 1 minus b is our equation 4. So this implies this from here we can write a minus 1 equals to 2 minus 2b which implies this a equals to 3 minus 2b. So now just put the value of a in our equation 1 in order to get the value of b. So we have 3 minus 2b plus 3 equals to 3b. So this implies this 5b equals to 6. This implies this b equals to 6 by 5. Five. As in the question, it is given that a, b are integers. So, the solution of b also get discarded. Now, next, in the case 3, we will equate equation 2 with equation 3. 
so from equation 2 we have a plus 3 equals to minus 3b is our equation 2 and now equation 3 is a minus 1 equals to 2 multiplied with b minus 1 is our equation 3 this implies this a equals to 2b minus 1 let's just put the value of a here so we have 2b minus 1 plus 3 equals to minus 3b this implies this 5b equals minus 2 this implies this b equals to minus 2 by 5 this value of the b also get discarded as it is given that a b must be an integer so now in the case 4 in the case 4 we will equate equation 2 with equation 4 so from equation 2 we have a plus 3 equals to minus 3b is our equation 2 and a minus 1 equals to 2 multiplied with 1 minus b is our equation 4. So from equation 4 we can write a equals to 3 minus 2b. So now let's just put the value here. So we have 3 minus 2b plus 3 equals to minus 3b. This implies this minus b equals to plus 6 which implies this b equals to minus 6. Now let's just put the value of b here. So we have a equals to 3 minus 2b which is equals to 3 minus 2 minus 6. This implies this 3 plus 12 which is equals to 15. So here we are getting a equals to 15 and b equals to minus 6. So these solutions of a and b satisfying all the condition given in the question that is a b must be an integer and a b must be of opposite sign. So what I asked to find we are asked to find a square divided by b square. So from here we have 15 square divided by minus 6 square which is equals to 225 divided by 36 is equals to 25 divided by 4 is our answer. I hope you have understood the solution. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more such interesting videos. Thank you.